Hi Dom. Welcome to Cheryl's Mono Blog. I'm Cheryl, waitress extraordinaire, and this is the place where I get to put in my two cents about the menu items of life, so to speak. Today's appetizer. Well, somebody actually wrote me my very first email message. That's right, someone out there on the internet, and they asked me to talk about a whole list of topics, but I'm only going to pick one. And one that's very much in the news these days happens to be gay marriage. Well, my opinion on gay marriage is as follows. It's none of my business, to tell you the truth, who you marry. And not only that, doll, but if you're opposed to gay marriage, then don't marry somebody who's gay. End of story. Okay, let's get on to the main course, because I've been thinking about these products out there in the world that change their names every so often. You know, they repackage themselves. They call it rebranding now, so that we'll buy more stuff, right? I know that there was a car company that did that. There was a candy bar that changed its name back in time. Um, I'm not mentioning any names, doll, because I don't advertise. At any rate, you know, some of these financial companies these days have been renaming themselves as well. You know, the ones with the CEOs that land up in jail, they think if they just change their name that we won't, we won't notice. <laughs> we weren't born yesterday, were we? At any rate, you know, they even did that with fish. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine Cheryl coming up to your table with my little pad and pen and saying, doll, today's special, slimehead fish, mashed potatoes, and the vegetable medley. You'll probably say, nah, Cheryl, I think I'll go with the meatloaf today. <laughs> well, you know, they changed, they changed the name of Slimehead Fish. It's now called Orange Ruffy. It's a big seller. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it's overfished and on the verge of being extinct, too. But that's a whole nother story, right? Anyway, brings me to my point of the day, and that has to do with the latest fiscal apocalypse that our wonderful leadership is, keeps talking about. You know, week after week, it keeps changing. If it's not the debt, we have to be austere. And if not the austere, we got to drive off the cliff. Remember, we drove off the cliff together just a few weeks ago. And now we're in sequester. And now they're talking about the budget. And then we'll talk about the government shutting down again. So, you know, every week it gets repackaged in such a way to keep us, what, confused? We certainly don't know what's going on. And it seems like nobody else does either. In fact, all, if you ask me, it kind of stinks. It smells a little of that uh, slime head fish, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Okay, Cheryl's getting a little hot under the collar. Probably time to go. But doll, don't forget to write me. My email address, cheryl'smonoblog at yahoo.com. It gives me some ideas about what you're thinking about, and then we'll talk. Oh, that wasn't bad, Cheryl. That was pretty good. Oh, I bet this looks really scary walking up to the camera like that, but I gotta turn it off, so don't mind me. Here we go. One, two, three. See you, doll.